This plant may look like it is puckering up for a saucy smooch, but it is really saving all its love for hummingbirds and butterflies. Psychotria elata is the scientific name for the hot lips plant, which flowers in the humid forests of Costa Rica, Panama, and Colombia. Called bracts, the glossy red leaves are the perfect color to catch the eye of pollinators because butterfly and hummingbird eyes are very sensitive to red light. As butterflies and hummingbirds land on the flowers to drink nectar, they transfer the pollen from flower to flower. This is essential for the plant's reproduction. Goat gymnasts The goats of Tamri village in Morocco show great agility in searching for their favorite food. These nimble nibblers claw, jump and scramble up the argan trees to reach their beloved berries, setting in motion a practice that's been around for centuries. The olive-like argan berry is perfect nourishment in an area where food is scarce. The Tamri goats can climb 9 meters, 30 feet, up to the treetops. Is it a leaf? Is it tree bark? No, it's the satanic leaf-tailed gecko. Cleverly disguised as a rotting leaf, Madagascar's camouflage king has red eyes, pointy horns and a taste for night hunting, it's nature's most devilish deceiver. The twisted body and veiny skin echo the detail of a dry leaf, which ensures the gecko blends in with its forest home. The mottled tail appears to have sections missing, as though it has withered over time. This mini-monster epitomizes survival of the fittest, having adapted gradually to become today's extraordinary leaf impersonator. Considered a sign of good fortune in its native Central and South America, the Calicor butterfly's lucky numbers are 88 and 89. Emblazoned across each wing, the striking digits help the species to attract mates amidst the flora and fauna. The exact markings of the 88-89 butterfly depend on the specific subspecies. There are 12 types, with the marking taking a different form, color and shape each time. Whoever got on this bike definitely reached the end of the road. A tree can grow slowly around an object placed, on, in or close by it. The tree cannot move away so it has to stop growing, grow away, or grow around the object when its trunk increases in size. It takes decades for an object to be truly stuck. The riddle of the bicycle up a tree is legendary in Vashon Island, USA. One story goes that a boy tied his bike to the tree before going to war in 1914, while town sheriff Don Poos is sure he left the bike behind in the 1950. Skeptics insist it is nothing more than a hoax. In the forests of northeastern India, rivers and streams are crossed using structures crafted from ancient banyan trees. Forged by tangled roots and vines, these living tree bridges are both a natural wonder and an engineering masterclass. Cherapunji is one of the world's wettest places, so normal wooden structures would rot and break. Living bridges avoid this problem. By carefully guiding the strong, thick tree roots across rivers and voids, local Kasi people have grown permanent crossings that only get stronger over time. Planning is required. They take 10 to 15 years to grow. In 2015 amateur photographer Martin Le May shot this image in Honchurch Country Park, London, UK, but the picture does not tell the full story. The weasel attacked the woodpecker and refused to give up even when the bird took flight. An aerial scrap ensued before the weasel tumbled in the woodpecker escaped. A sign now marks the spot where the sensational snap was taken. When is a snake not a snake? When it's a caterpillar. If this hawkmoth caterpillar feels threatened, it immediately takes on snake-like characteristics and behavior. Pulling in its legs and head, the caterpillar adopts a slithering motion. The caterpillar then inflates the head end of its body to create a realistic-looking snake's head. The body is large by caterpillar standards and covered in scales, ensuring this species is one convincing masquerader.